It is Belinda. It is February the oh, the computer. Uh, February twenty uh, seventh, I think. Let me check my phone. Yeah, twenty seventh, two thousand and thirteen. Um, I'm just making a real quick video because I'm pissed off. Excuse my language. You guys know in Janu on January 18th I went to a um, plastic, uh, oh sorry, a reconstructive uh, surgeon. Um, and that was humiliating and blah 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 and all that good stuff, you know. And uh, they said, well, it'll take us about a week or so to send in your paperwork for authorization for the panty. Because uh, I told them to go ahead and send it out for everything, even though I knew it was going to, probably going to, some of it was going to be denied, if not all of it. Well, it's been six weeks, so yesterday I decided to call my insurance company and see um, what the holdup was, because I hadn't received anything in the mail or anything, right? And my insurance com company informed me that Dr. Becker had not sent in not one iota, not one millimeter piece of paper on anything for me to get authorization for plastic surgery. I'm sorry, for reconstructive surgery. And um, I was livid. I was pissed off. And I was like, well, okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to call uh, the Gallagher um, Plastic Surgery Center and find out what the hell's going on. So I called and I talked to Kelly and, um, well, first I talked to the receptionist and they pulled my file and said that I needed to come in and take measurements for my breasts, my arms, and the neck, considering those three surgeries would more than likely not be covered because they were cosmetic. So I said to her, I said, I need to speak to Kelly. And, and Kelly got on there and uh, talked to her and explained her the situation. And I was like, nobody told me I had to come back in and do any kind of, uh, they said that, that they would, would be, I'm sorry, that it would be required to have measurements, but since I'd already been down there, there wasn't no need for me to come back. And they put it all in anyway. So she's supposed to, Kelly's supposed to call me back Thursday and let me know, which is tomorrow, what the hell is going on and what they're going to do, because I was kind of, even though I'm scared to death to have reconstructive surgery, um... I was wanting to get the process started as soon as I possibly could in the next month or two, you know, after me and Chuck find a house and get settled and set up and all that, you know, because I wanted to kind of enjoy some of my summer. Well, I'm going to enjoy it anyway because I can actually move around and do stuff. But I wanted to enjoy it more with, you know, without all this skin hanging down, which I need to do a loose skin video. And... I may do that today. I don't know. We'll see. It's not that I'm afraid to. I'm just being lazy and I don't want to do it. Because it ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Loose skin. Everybody has it when they, right after they have this surgery. It's just to, to what degree you have it. You know? And I'm not ashamed of um, what what I look like. I mean, it is what it is. I've done this damage to myself and reconstructive surgery is the only thing that's going to fix it. And I was thinking, you know, I'd be, that I'd be broken hard if I couldn't get the neck and the arms, the breasts, and everything done. But I think even if all I can get done, which I know will be covered, which is the panty and the um, mobus plasty done, which is the pubic area, like Connie had done. If I can just get those two done for right now, I'd be really happy with that because I can always get a good bra to lift me up and I can always wear shirts like this to cover my arms because I never was a big you know um, we call them a tank top wearer or anything like that maybe I would have been if I had a had a better had better arms I don't know anyway I'm rambling I'm so sorry but anyway I'm just pissed off that they did that to me because that's six weeks wasted now so when she calls me back and she says well you have to come in and get measured now I'm going to wait for the appointment which I could take two weeks or longer and then go do it and then I'll have to wait another week and a half to two weeks for them to get all their paperwork together, get all their doc ducks in a row before they send the authorization off to my insurance company. And then it could take the insurance company anywhere from four to eight weeks to make a decision. And then even then, it could be denied and I'd have to do it again. And I went and called about ten different surgeons in Tennessee and none of them take the insurance. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to make some more phone calls, probably Friday because... Uh, that's when day I don't have anything to do except for maybe going walking. Anyway, what do y'all think? I mean, it's, I'm just agitated. I mean, I still got personal stuff going on at home that's 
not getting any better. It's getting worse. But that's neither here nor there. I mean, I'm sure God will take care of it one way or the other. And it is what it is, you know. At least nobody's dead or dying, you know. And that's very, very important. But, oh, and I want to thank all my new subscribers. I've been getting quite a few here lately. Thank you guys very much for wanting to follow my journey and think it's interesting enough to do so. <laughs> and sometimes I think I can be pretty damn boring. Um, so, just thank everybody and all my supporters, my original and my new subscribers and my family and friends on YouTube and my family and friends outside the square box and Facebook. Just everybody that's touched my life. Alright, y'all have a blessed day. Bye.